So one day we decided, uh, since we couldn't, you know, looking at the Sears and J.C. Penney catalog, we knew we couldn't ever buy a bow and arrow or buy a, uh, uh, a shotgun or a rifle. So we had to resort to slingshot. Well, we could hear the magpies in the distance. We didn't see any coyote. We didn't see any animal. So we thought one kid, one of the boys said, oh, I bet you can't shoot, hit that magpie nest. And there was hundreds of nests. Why that one, we don't know. So we start shooting at it. And next thing you know, we could see it shaking. And next thing you know, it, it, it rolled down, hit the ground, and it rolled the stop. Well, we wanted to see what was inside of a bird nest, uh, not knowing that there was a little baby magpie bird. The minute it saw us, it started making all kinds of noise, thinking that we had food to feed the bird. Well, we started looking for little bugs, and, and, and we get some water from the Shoshone River to try to keep that bird from making noise. Well, as, you, as I had mentioned earlier, I was one that went from babysitter to babysitter to babysitter. And when somebody said that baby bird is going to die because the mother is going to reject it, I says, I'm going to adopt this bird. And I carried it in my t-shirt, brought it back, kept trying to keep it cool. Uh, and the irony of this bird was it was like any other internees. We were forced into camp behind barbed wires. That magpie bird went between the barbed wires, went in just like an internee. And as it, it went in, each of us held the barbed wires apart so we won't get hurt. And so one day when I said, hello, Maggie, the bird said, hello, Maggie. I looked around to see if there was a ventriloquist or, or somebody's playing a trick on me. I went up to the bird and I said, hello, Maggie, and, and eyes turned white and said, hello, Maggie. And during the summer, uh, my stepfather clipped the wing because we knew that it couldn't survive in the wilderness. Uh, so it's too domesticated. So we would let him out between the barracks. It would socialize, going from one stairway to the other. Well, there was two old ladies that used to sit each, each evening uh, on a, so, a summer night, laughing, talking, and laughing and talking. And Maggie would be in, this, in the middle, talking in Japanese and laughing. And, 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 and it sounded like those three old ladies talking, where there was really two. And, and every once in a while, the bird would go to another section, a uh, uh, different barrack. It gets confused because they all look alike. And so some man would say, come on, Maggie. And they'll walk. The bird will follow the bird, uh, the man. Okay, here's your bird. And she, she could identify our bird. So it's a very intelligent, intelligent bird.